I tie again? Um, so my last post was my last reading from the first zine of the revolution of my life. So I'm going to read some of number two. This one is mostly just random quotes that I felt were applicable to what I was kind of going through. And so um, that's what this one was mostly about. I didn't put in a lot of um, writings that I did. So uh, let's see here. So some of these are taken from like Tumblr, um, things that I wrote, things that other people wrote. Um, mostly from a Confessions About Eating Disorders Tumblr blog that I came across. So I will just read some of them. Uh, my expectations never align with reality. I can't stop my fingers from pulling at my fat, constantly grabbing, groping, pinching, sometimes even in public. My hands will stray to my thighs, my stomach, reminding myself of my weakness, my flesh, my doughy existence. I feel so bad for this rhino exercising to look beautiful, like she's like the unicorn. Even though the rhino is so beautiful, just the way she is, and of course the unicorn is too. But I do this shit all the time. There's that picture, you may have seen it. I think it's a t-shirt from Threadless or something. I don't know, but I thought the picture was really cute. And I did feel really bad for the rhino. Because I think the rhino's just cute. But I've done that shit before. Um, I used to be bulimic now, then I was anorexic. Now I'm an eating disorder not otherwise specified. Funny, even my own disorder doesn't know who the fuck they are. I'm lonely. Why does no one understand? I'm so embarrassed about my life and how I am around food. But eating disorders are cunning. They are seductive. They are a total paradox because just as that young person believes that this magic formula is the path to gaining control in their lives to become more beautiful or handsome, to being better accepted by their peers and loved ones, and to actually feel better about themselves, they soon discover the ex exact opposite prevails. As the behaviors progress from dieting, to extreme restricting or sporadic binging and purging, to protracted rituals and daily obsessions, there seems to be no turning back. Their social acceptance becomes meaningless as they withdraw further and further into isolation and alienation and the self-hatred and loathing that they feel increases rather than decreases. The illness invades their every hour, both day and night. Control is now in the hands of the illness, and life is often perceived as not worth living. Um, this is something I wrote quick. It's about that bag. Um, it says, love your body already. And it's like a woman. I think it was from the feminist website. And I actually would identify as a feminist. However, this love your body already shit pissed me off. And here's why. So this appears innocent, positive, empowering, and feminist. But it's not to me. It's shaming and impatient. Why? I don't know how to love my body already. This pisses me off. For me, to just love my body is too complicated. It's not like an off-and-on switch that I have in my head. Besides, this hate is just beyond the hate for my body. It's pure self-hate on many levels. I don't like much in about anything about me. So, fuck you, big. You don't know how long I've had an eating disorder, and I'm trying. Um, so it was just like, I fucking hate that. Like, people can't just be told to love their body when they don't they're not even told how to actually love their body because I don't know how to like I don't I can't just be told that by a feminist group and it's going to happen because it's not and I've tried and it doesn't work and even though I tried that I still had my fucking eating disorder so yeah um I put that picture on there and I wrote I don't want to do this anymore and I think there's lots of different meanings from that meaning I don't want to eat anymore I don't want to keep doing this eating disorder anymore, because sometimes those types of messages change every day. Um, I can't remember the last time I ate something and didn't worry that it was going to make me fat. This has been a normal with me since I was little. I wonder what it feels like to be normal. 
This is something I think that I wrote. I learned more about carb, fat, and protein exchanges. Of course I found out that I'm not eating enough. Today I ate the month they wanted me to and I felt a wave of disappointment in myself. If I eat under the amount I feel good. When I eat the right amount I feel like shit. As if I'm going to get fat and disgusting and awful. But on the other hand I know this is what I'm supposed to do. It's an ongoing war in my head. And then I found this tor terrible statistic that was like on average it takes 7 to 10 years to recover from an eating disorder. I started treatment in October. So, six months. Um, here's one thing. I'm still doing blind weights and treatment. One part of me wants to know and see how much thinner I, I'm, I am than I used to be. The other part of me doesn't want to know I'll feel fat. It's super frustrating. Lately, I've been feeling so fat when I eat. I imagine myself the way I look and think I must look fat. But then I think of how I'm supposed to eat because I'm a fucking human. Today I ate. I ate good food but I still feel guilty or fat or whatever. Mm. I wish this would stop. But it's been a part of my life since I can remember. It's not going away because it, just because I started treatment. Um, so that was random clips from my second scene for this series. Um, there's lots of pictures in this one too that I wrote lyrics on of songs I've been listening to lately. Or, well, I was writing this one at the time. This was written a few months ago. So, there's that. And I'm going to start number three sometime this week because I have a lot more writing in that one. So, thank you.